hello YouTube. Let's get cracking. Not Dark Souls. Oh crap, I'm clicking on the wrong things. Uh, <laughs> that's the ticket. Look at this. I've made a rudimentary, a, a crude overlay. Ooh. Look at this. Around here on my camera, I've got game logo, I've got text, superfluous text, and in the uh, aspect ratio correction bars, we've got a few random characters. Isn't that delightful? Blends in seamlessly because it's so crappy and minimal. Anyway, I think the resume button is the only one we should feel confident clicking on here. So we need an army, large enough to battle the Darkspawn Horde. Okay. Reasonable uh, reasonable request. Let us endeavour to fulfil it. Okay, so this is the camp. This is where I uh, signed out last night. I've spoken to all the peeps here. Let's have a chat with this guy. Or girl, Morgan. What do you wish of me? Hmm, I'd like to ask you something. If you must. How did you become a shape changer? I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. Whatever. <clears throat> Your mother has been doing this for a long time then. Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Uh, let's have a look. Can you change into other human forms as well? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. Mm -hmm. Can anyone become a shape changer? Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. It is a spell and thus requires a major's talents. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. Do you spend a lot of time as an animal? There were nights when the wilds called to me. It is true. It is you true. look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat proud shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human. I am under no illusions <clears throat> to the contrary. And what do other animals think of you when you're changed? They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus, they cannot speak even were I to ask. I have never heard of magic like that before. No, tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of the circle of magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded law from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could, but as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. Well, there we go. Uh, by practitioners, you mean apostates, don't you? Not all apostates use the forbidden blood arts. Maleficarum do, but to condemn all who do not fall under the circle's thrall for the sake of what might be is a dangerous path to walk. There are those who look on the word apostate as meaning freedom. That's all I wanted Indeed. to ask. Have you an opinion on my abilities then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? No. It does seem a little revolting. Uh, no, I don't think that's a terribly good thing to say. 
uh, <laughs> at the very least you should be put to the torch. Uh, I think your abilities sound quite useful. Oh, you're simply full of surprises, little man, aren't you? But enough of such talk, let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. Patronising cow. Now oh, she approves of me. Oh, you approve, little man, do you? Anyway, let's trot on. See what else we can find in this uh, little enclave. Okay, we've got Bodan, Fedic, and Sandal. I've spoken. Did I speak to Leliana? Let's have a little chat with Leliana. Yes. yes. Uh, I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. What was life like in the Chantry Cloister? It was a life suited for contemplation. In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the Maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my Chantry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. Condescending? How so? When I talked about my beliefs, that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. Hmm. But you must earn the Maker's blessing. I prefer your ideas to the ideas of the Chantry. What did you say to them? And I really don't want the Maker looking in on me anyway. Thank you. Maybe I am wrong. But it is the Maker's place to decide if I am worthy, not men, not the Chantry. But there is work to be done, and I have talked enough for now. Oh, she approves too. Everybody approves. Hooray! The scoundrel's approval ratings are through the roof. What do you need? What do I need? I'd like to ask you something. Ask away. What can a Templar do exactly? Essentially, they're trained to fight. Chantry would tell you that the Templars exist simply to defend. But don't let them fool you. They're an army. The other main purpose for a Templar is, of course, to hunt mages. To that end, we train in talents that drain mana and disrupt spells. Hmm. Useful. So couldn't others learn these talents? So Templars use magic themselves. Have you hunted many mages? Then it seems like Templars could run the Chantry. Uh, there we go. Perhaps, but there usually isn't much of an opportunity. The Chantry keeps a close rein on its Templars. We are given Lyrian to help develop our magic talents, you see. Which means we become addicted. And since the Chantry controls the Lyrian trade with the Dwarves, well, I'm sure you can put two and two together. So you are addicted to Lyrium? Hmm. Sounds like an excellent method of control. <laughs> Thankfully, no. You only start receiving Lyrium once you've taken your vows. You don't need Lyrium in order to learn the Templar talents. Lyrium just makes Templar's talents more effective. Or so I was told. Maybe it doesn't even do that. The Chantry usually doesn't let their Templars get away, either, so they can spread their secrets. I'm a bit of an exception. Lucky me. <laughs> Lucky you, indeed. Alright, well, okay, we'll talk to the traders. I think I've probably already done all my trading in the last episode, but if there's I anything forget. I can do for you, please, please tell me. Hmm, persuade. So, what's your story exactly? Hmm. I suppose since you told me about you being a Grey Warden, it's only fitting for me to be as open. I am originally from Corsamar. Famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately frostback mountains. I was a merchant there, too. Merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles and nobles. Reminded them of lost glory days, I suppose. Hmm. Lost glory? Our kingdoms once spanned the length of Thedos, from majestic Orzammar to Kalsharok to glittering Darmalin far to the west. 
They say the gold and silver veins ran so thick through the stone up to our Malin that the entire city sparked. The Darkspawn took it all, of course. One by one, the old tykes fell, and then all that was left was Orzammar. But we were talking about how I ended up here. Well, one day, a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit, and then started shrieking in dismay. Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. He'd been lost in a cave-in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the Darkspawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. No balls. They're touching on that. Hmm. Uh, and did you steal them? <laughs> Well, I can understand why she was upset. I'm going to ask if he stole them. Well, I didn't steal them. You see, I, I've been paying these castless thugs to venture out into the deep roads for them. The lost tides. They're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. Better to do something with them than lead them to rot. <laughs> Exactly how I see it. The noble woman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me. I didn't want to find out. Bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never look back. Well, there you go. And now here you are in my camp, fleeing Darkspawn. Fascinating story. You're Thank you. Quite welcome. Now, is there anything the boy or I can get you? Let me see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Oh, discount! Way. Okay. But I think I've actually already been through all of this stuff and sold him tons of mine. Yeah, there is There's loads of it here. Ugly boots. Not a fly sword. Anyway. We've already dallied with this cat. Let's return to the campfire and bunk down for the night, hit the road. Is that how it's done? I think it is. Let's go. Right, we are going to take Now this, I'm doubling down on the rogue in here. She's a better rogue than me though, so. Warrior mage, rogue, rogue. We're a bit rogue heavy, but let's do it. I've been hanging around with that dog for far too long. Okay, where are we going now? Let's see. Ban Lauren's lands. Timber. Lake Callahan docks. It only means to reach the tower, or the circle tower, I see. Red Cliff Village, Sulcher's Pass, uh, difficult to say, I, I assume these highlighted ones are ones where I have active quests available, we've got here, Kakari Wild, Sostagar here, Soldier's Peak, Now, Soldier's Peak, I took a quest there to find something. I forget. Oh, there's the party camp. I'm not sure what we do at these Ban Lawrence lands. Oh, I want to go see dwarves. Let's go find some dwarves. What? Will you stop eating? Let's listen. Oh, I'm hungry. Stuff your face at camp, but now watch the bloody road. Mm. Let's listen. But we've been looking at the road for hours. No travelers all day. Will one of you pay attention? 
Maybe I could ambush them, or maybe I'll just leave, avoid the combat and get to the dwarves. Should I be taking these out? Should I let them wander the highways? Yeah, let's do it. No reason. What are you talking about? I have to actually sneak past them. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That was not part of the deal. <laughs> what the? Total stupidity. Okay, what do we got here? She can cast something. Let's cast some damaging stuff. Uh, drain life? Well, she doesn't need healing. Lightning. Okay, everyone's doing what needs doing, apart from Scoundrel, who appears to have backed off in a particularly cowardly outburst. First time I get into combat in a game, I run in blindly and everyone gets slaughtered. No tactics whatsoever. survived. Well, no, no, two of us survived. I see. But I killed everybody, so that's what really counts. That's what matters. Wait no, a minute. Do. There's more? So I shall. There are more. They're over here. Oh, yeah. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's actually my guy. <laughs> oh, dear. Insufficient skill? Oh no. There they are up here, look. Two fools hanging about. Oh. 
Okay, so we're all, we're all together now, right? Let's get back to the rest of the party. And hopefully everybody will come back to life. I didn't particularly want to fight these guys, but apparently... You can't. You have to. So be it. We should check out injuries as well. Scoundrel, no injuries. This guy's got a broken bone. And Leliana is bleeding. Excellent. That's just what we want. A bleeding character. Could you? Allow me. I could do that for you. No, you couldn't. There we go. Let's try this one again. See, you can't do all of them. You're not really better than me. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd killed everybody. Oh well, looks like that idea was a bit premature. Totally failed to anticipate that the man I'd just killed could possibly be trapped. What's down there. Let me just map this map this position up. Back to the world map. There we go. That's where we want to go. random encounter. That wasn't too bad. Ah, Kiezu. <coughs> you are in time. I'm still going. Not doing a particularly long one tonight, but uh, I am going to do some advancement because I've just decided to come to the Frostback Mountains. I want to see some dwarves. I need some tiny people action. Well, tiny. Maybe tiny is a bit extreme. Small people. What's going on here? Activity. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Hostile. Didn't expect that whatsoever. Apparently, low gain sends his regards. That's absolutely delightful to know. However, I will not be accepting this regard. Bounty hunter, bounty hunter, bounty hunter, bounty hunter. They're all just bounty hunters. That one's. Pardon me, got a yellow name, but. Okay. Uh, take a little bit more of a strategic look at what's going on here. So, what have we got? Oh my god, Scoundrel's already dead. That is not particularly optimal. She's got nothing on there. A uh, bit of a life drain probably help her. <sighs> ah shit, that was, I didn't want to turn that off. No oh, well. No! Ah, oh, I didn't save. I'm not sure I can survive this. Wow. Okay, it saved on the way in. That's good. <laughs> That's nice. Nice to know the auto saved saved my ass. We're good. 
so we've got bandits which are going to waylay us just that little bit further down the road now I'm going to invisibilize go solo and try and sneak up on these fools oh, have we got full stamina bars right? no he hasn't, why hasn't he? that's because he's got a broken bone we've got an injury kit why am I faffing around? who else has got an injury? Pop, pop. there we go, you've got one oh, she doesn't have a lesser injury kit though I have to remedy that. Then we'll look through the inventoire. Boom. Shouldn't have anyone injured now. Brilliant. Okay, scoundrel's all invisible up. He's going to move freely. I don't know. Okay. I think we'll try the concentrated fire approach. Everybody, hog on this guy. Actually, Tom, pause it. <sighs> well, the concentrate fire tactic seems to be a little bit lacking. <sighs> Can I completely evade these people or is it just a precipitous cliff? Just a precipitous cliff. Okay, so... Hmm. That mage at the back is pretty powerful. Maybe this is a signal, maybe this is the game maker saying, you're not high level enough yet come back later. You should have slowly worked your way up the map until you could handle dwarves. You can't handle the dwarves yet, you must keep away. Okay, instead... <laughs> confusion. Let's, let's head up to this place, Soldier's Peak. Probably also highly uh, difficult place to go to but whatever I don't care I'm gonna try anyway and here we are soldiers peak make us breath look at the size of her what a fortress I told you the map would get us through the tunnels I told you the map would get us through the tunnels just admit it, you were lost a couple of times. Andraste's blood! How did you find that path on your own? She's impressive, that's for certain. <laughs> you wouldn't believe me if I told you. I was thinking about playing a dwarf, but um, I decided to go for human instead. Vanilla. Just tell me. <laughs> it came to me in my dreams. Oh, here we go. I don't believe you. I tried going through the tunnel by myself. Got horribly lost. But every now and again since, I've dreamt of it. Why didn't you mention this? I think I was some moon-addled simpleton. I've my wits about me. But enough of that. I'll follow you from a distance. This place has the stench of death. I expect there's trouble up ahead. Looks like it's seen better days. Better centuries, more like. <laughs> Once the wardens flourished, their ranks full, their caliber certain. Now they even accept people like you, Alistair. Hey. Okay, so we're at some kind of snowy fortress. It appears to be foresty. Pines. Oh, there we go. Fall back! Fall back already! Taking the peak will not be easy, my lord. I gave the Wardens one chance to die with honor. Instead, they hold up like cowards. 
We follow the king's advice then. Starve them out. But the peak has months of supplies. Then we wait. When they are too weak to lift their weapons, we will send them to their final judgment. Brutal. What was that? Felt a bit woozy, eh? I'm not mad, am I? You saw it too. I've heard an Orlesian ballad about something like this. A beauty trapped in a dream. In the song, Belisa never wakes up. Your prissy friend here is making me nervous, Warden. How's this even possible? The place must truly be haunted. The world is full of mysteries. Yes, Warden. Yes, Warden. Okay. So, well, we've got corpses. That's usually an indicator of relatively recent combat. Oh, wait a moment. They are... Arlen skeletons, undead indeed. I probably should have saved before I did this, but oh well. Let's rock. Everybody get in on the skeleton. Bash him up. Okay, the gang up tactic does work on these. Come back again. What are we back in combat? What's going on? Whoa! More Dharma. Get your body up here. We're all hurt. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Wave after wave of skeletons? for this either. That seemed like a lot of undead and I'm not prepared. I've got no healing, no nothing. This was return. Let's head back to where we were. Back to safer climbs. We can get out of here, right? We can escape. That's on the table. Yes, let's. Well, I think I'm going to head for the capital. <laughs> that sounds like, no, maybe not. Yeah, let's head for the capital. So let's see what's going on. No a nation by its capital. Uh. What? What's this? Gentle path. Oh, it's a trader. You have coin, stranger. Doors of Mar closed off. Old Tegu can give you a discount. A fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. Ooh, let's see this discount of yours. Has he got anything exciting? 
And have I got anything I want to sell? You know, I really don't know. Painting of the Rebel Queen. Yeah, I don't really know what's what with what he's got here. It doesn't look like I've got anything I'm interested in. Anything I can sell. Um, we've got a mage now, so we need delirium. Don't need them all. Don't need the ice bolts. Uh, a valuable silver bowl. Usable as a gift? No. Goodbye, engraved silver bowl. There you go, that's uh, not much left in the inventory. I've been uh, quite good at conserving space. And a bit of elf fruit thrown in for the bargain. Yes, gather my party. Venture forth. Please excuse me. Oh, what a foul outburst. Okay, we're in the Denerim Market District. I'm an extremely wanted man. This could turn out badly. I should probably be sneaking as my abilities allowed me, but um, I'm just going to bowl in. I'm going to rock up. Play it uh, OG, as I believe they say on the streets in the 90s. Also say that washing your feet in winter makes you catch cold in the head, but we all know that is not true. But sometimes they are right. And they are right in this. You know the stories about Of course. You think my mother would let me go without telling me all the stories of her youth? My mother told me stories too. She was the one who kindled my love of the old tales and legends. Hmm. My mother's stories curdled my blood and haunted my dreams. No little girl wants to hear about the wilder men her mother took to her bed, using them till they were spent, then killing them. No little girl wants to be told that this is also expected of her once she comes of age. I... Um, I see. No, you don't. You really don't. Well, perhaps you are revealing too much there. Do we all really need to know this? We're in a professional environment now, we're adventuring. To serve man and never to rule over him. Foul and corrupt are they who have taken his gift and turned it against his children. They shall be named Maleficar, accursed ones. They shall find no rest in this world or beyond. I was getting to that part. They sound terrible. So what's this? aggressively pious people here having a good old prey hardcore praying outdoors Chanter Rosamund Templar guards all strung out on Lyrium Sister Justine okay nothing particularly exciting around here out of my way you fools what do you wish of me not to stand in my way there we go. For a second there, I thought she was reciting out Queen lyrics. One love! Mages collective liaison. Okay. What have we got here? Got kids running around, yay! Happy kids. They say you can get anything here. He once got pickpocketed, apparently. Let's have a look at what we've got for sale. Lots and lots of food. I could take it back to the uh, Good day. poor people. The market is busy, is it not? It Come is. rest here. I have the finest selection of flowers and Orlesian scented oils in all of Denerim. For a lady friend, perhaps. Roses can open any woman's out, you know. Sounds like a generaliz generalisation, but uh, I'll accept that your position requires that you use trite language to lever me into buying your products. I'll have to go. I want something more practical. What's there to see in the market? Where are you from? Okay. Uh, what's there to see in the market? Much of this city is still a mystery to me, but the market is like my home. 
Serkal and sorcelled objects can be found in the wonders of Thedas, in the alleyway north. The armorer, Wade, and his emporium are just to the south. If you need work, outside the rectory to the southeast is a chanter's board. And if your thirst is strong, head to the Nord Noble Tavern north of here. Be prepared, though. They do put on many airs. I see. Uh, where are you from? I am from Orlais. You've heard of us, no? Your Denerim is a fine city, but I miss my Val Royale. She's quite beautiful this time of year. Why did you leave? Orlais has many, many good things, but it is sometimes not so good to be... common. My brother had trouble with a Chevalier and we departed shortly after. Oh dear. The Chevalier is a knight. You know so little of Orlais here. The Chevaliers are knights of the highest order. They are the most skilled in the world. Their discipline, formidable. For their service, they're allowed privileges. They can do whatever they want to the lesser world. Wow. <laughs> that sounds like a little bit too much power. Too much freedom. Why do people put up with them? Because there is little choice. There are so many wonderful things about our lake. But Ferelden has something precious. Here, a man, or a woman, is born free and lives free. I do not understand it, but the nobles here are not so high, and none of us are quite so low. As much as I miss my Varroyo, I love where I am. Well, that's excellent. What, what is there to see in the market? Much of the city is still a mystery to me. I know, I know. But the markets is like my home. Serkal and sorcelled objects can be found in the wonders of Thedas, in the alleyway north. The armorer, Wade, and his emporium are just to the south. If you need work, outside the rectory to the southeast is a chanter's board. And if your thirst is strong, head to the Nord Noble Tavern north of here. Be prepared though, they do put on many airs. I have to go. So, they're not actually selling any of this food then. I can't just buy a load and take it to the refugees in that poor village I was in. Never mind. What is it? I have work to do. Nothing. Right. Well, he's obviously not had his quest activated yet. Ah, chest, eh? Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven crafts. Direct from Orzammar. You won't find better. Welcome. Welcome. We sell only the strongest dwarven steel, folded over a hundred times in the forges of Orzammar. In times like this, surely your group could use some extra protection on the road. This is a surprisingly strong American accent there, considering the rest of the voice cast. Well, I mean, some of them have got pretty outrageous European accents. Uh, show me what you have. I'd rather buy information if you're not got any to sell. I'm not interested. Thanks. So show me what you have. Every piece comes with a stamp of assurance from my wife's father, the best smith in Denerim. That is lovely to know. Right, what can I actually wear? Heavy armor, steel armor. Can we change characters here, or do we have to? Uh, we go comparing items to Alistair. He's the kind of cat who might warrant the use of heavy armor. Requires 22 strength. Okay, we could get him some dwarven heavy armor. It's quite good armor, and he does tend to go down quite a lot. I'm not going to do it. We've got 12 gold. Golden heavy boots. Manual berserker. What does this do? Berserker combat style. Oh, health regeneration. That's not bad. But the defense is crappy compared to the one I've got. Okay, so now we spent some money. We've got him some armor let's kit him out okay man no problem uh, sinister actually Warren's ill at the moment as well he's uh, upstairs all poorly in bed 
tonsillitis apparently. Nighty night. Okay, I've got to the wrong place. I want to do his inventory. That's better. She needs to use the doodad, the thingamajig, the flim flam, the injury kit. That's the ticket. Anyway, let's go back to this guy. And put his heavy dwarven helmet on. His dwarven heavy gloves. Dwarven heavy boots. And dwarven heavy armor. Okay, so it's looking pretty brutal now. Canned death. Canned whoop ass indeed. Okay, not too bad. I recognize you from Ostagar. I trust his blood. You're a Grey Warden, Duncan's apprentice. You killed my friend and good King Kaelin. I demand satisfaction, sir. Happy battling, but maybe not successful battling. Sway lie. Me, a Grey Warden? You must be mistaken. Intimidate? Hmm. I think I'll go for the persuasion. Pardon me, sir. You must think I'm a fool. You really do look like... Uh, too much ale. Yes, uh, too much. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. I'm a born liar. The Narwood Noble Tavern. The Nord Noble, rather. King Chibi's home. It's actually quite an expansive area on him now. Wonders of Theda Shop. Something for the magic users, eh? Tranquil proprietor. Actually, she's an illegal mage. I should probably shouldn't come in here and start buying stuff for her yet. Doesn't make much sense. And I should have sold the old armor he was wearing. What a wally. Sorry, let's check out the tavern. Can I get you, stranger? Hmm. Anyone need help? Maybe with something not strictly legal? That's not the best opening line. Have you heard any rumours? Let me see what you have. Let's see what he has. Right. I'll show you around. Health poultices. Ah, yes. Maybe I shouldn't have pissed all my money away on armour. I mean, they may reduce the need for health poultices, but it won't completely obliterate it. I still got two gold and we're good. We can all have an ale. Okay, so we've spoken to him. Let's have a little more of an explore. What have we got? Sophie's guard. My shift's nearly over. Thank Andraste. Thank Andraste. So you truly do not believe in any sort of higher power? It has been bothering you, I see. No, I do not. Do you have to you die then? Nothing? I do not go to sit by the Maker's side, if that's what you mean. Only those who are worthy are brought to the Maker's side. So many other sad souls are left to wander in the void, hopeless and forever lost. And what evidence of this have you? <laughs> I see only spirits, no wandering ghosts of wicked disbelievers. It must be so sad to look forward to nothing. To feel no love and seek no reward in the afterlife. Yes, the anguish tears at me so. You have seen through me to my sad, sad core. Now you're simply mocking me. You notice. 
It appears your perceptive powers know no bounds. They're very verbose, these characters, aren't they? They like to talk. What have we got here at the end? Door. Allow me. I could do that for you. Oh, yeah. I heard you say that before. Could you do it? No, you couldn't. That's not actually a door, apparently. What do we got over this side? Oh, hello. More hotel. Or inn, rather. Crimson Oars Mercenary. I'm Crimson Oar! Watch where you're looking or we'll rip your damned eyes out and piss in your skull! Another round for me men! Next, drink to battle and victory! Now we drink more! Okay. Make us blessings upon you, Warden. Make us blessings upon you, Warden. Yeah, let's accept quests without reading them. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm living fast and loose, blazing through the story, oblivious. So now there's no one actually. More. No one really to talk about in here. Or talk to, rather. That's a little bit, a little bit disappointing. Let's get back in and see what else the barkeep can what say. What can I get you, stranger? What can I get you, stranger? Uh, that's Oh, a few notes. Continue. It's always useful to have big name in your pocket, and there's nothing better than snagging them with their knickers down. If in travels wide someone were to come across notes between illicit lovers, I have certain specialists who can make the most of the texts, deliver to the bartender, and an investment towards future manipulations will be handsomely paid. I have trouble. A few of my more excitable young associates got a little nervous during a couple of delicate handovers. Suffice to say, a little mess needs attention. Life is normally cheap, but if word of this gets out, there will be consequences. My men are under close watch, so I would be most grateful for someone willing to take care of this. Going is assured. The troubles of the new blood seem to find me. I have ruffled some feathers with my alternative tactics to certain people and certain people have had me blacklisted by my primary suppliers, so I put this out there to those enterprising friends who want an ally and perhaps a little coin. Fifteen toxin extract samples will be more than enough to ensure I can continue building support. Simple, isn't it? Okay. Well, whatever, we'll just accept all these. Yay! <laughs> Wanton acceptance of questage. Yeah, we're a little bit disappointed about this place. It's a little, little bit empty. As you desire. What's this enormous building in the middle? Oh, it's not in the middle. It's part of the wall. Master Ignacio Caesar. If you are coin, welcome to our shop. If not, move along. Too many refugees blocking customers. <sighs> Have anything oh, yeah. to sell? Mage Bane Poison Recipe, Concentrator Agent, Demonic Icor, Corruptor Agent, Death Root, Toxin Extract. Hmm. I did just get given a mission to make that. To get that rather. Canary inventory helm. Uh, inventory helm. Inventory helm? Oh my god, my mind isn't in full working order. Let's try talking to Master Ignatius. Another visit, you might. Enjoy browsing my wares. Okay, what sort of goods do you have? My cousin and I have trade connections all along the seaways. We have furniture, silks, carvings, and much more. Cesar handles the trade stock, I handle other affairs. What affairs? Business deals. Meetings. Cesar makes it so I am free of the day-to-day -day concerns of our store. That sounds nice. Uh, you aren't from Ferelden, are you? No, I am not. I am a trader at heart. My home is the road. But I was born past the waking sea in Antiva, 
It has been many, many years since I have seen her. But the role is a better mistress than my home city ever was. What do you mean? On the docks of Rialto, life is cheap. As cheap as the dockside ale and the soiled horse. You can live a longer life. Soiled horse. And a wise man can make a comfortable fortune in time. With the blight, Ferelder isn't exactly safe either. Straightforward, predictable danger is refreshing to me. Any moment in Rialto, the streets can run red, and often do. I take dark spawn any day. At least you can see them coming. Need any help? Um, no, not yet. Perhaps one day. It has been many, many years since I have seen her. But the road is a better mistress than my home city ever was. Farewell. To you, oh, I see. So he's the brother who runs the shop, and he's just a guy who does stuff. Habron. What does Habron sell? It's worth more than you'll make in ten years. Be careful with that package, you lazy slut. Who is she bad mouthing? Hebron's servant. Must be her. It's a bit strong calling her a lazy slut. Allow me. I could do that for you. I'm sure you could. Wade's Emporium. Well, we're coming up on an hour of play now. I may have to call it a night in a bit. Heron. Welcome, friends. Welcome to Wade's Emporium. We have the finest armors in Denerum, maybe in all of Ferelden. How may we assist you? Let's see what you have for sale. Certainly. Okay, I've already paid for pretty cool dwarven stuff. But... Nah, I'm not seeing anything particularly exciting here. Your shop is not what I require. I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? that I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? That would be great, thanks. Wow, they're all so upset with each other. Quite the tragedy. If only the party could get along. It's a bit of a sour note to leave it on for the night. Let's find something more upbeat. What have we got over here? Knight Commander Tavish. Turn your attention elsewhere. My business does not concern you. Thank you and farewell. Okay, well that's a little bit dismissive. I mean, sure, the other one was a bit downbeat, but that one, I mean... He just dismissed us entirely. Like we were worth nothing, when in fact we are among the most wanted personages in all the realm. Well, that serves him right for being a dunce. What's this on the wall? Is this a urchin I can converse with? No. They're not conversant urchins. Don't believe the lies, friends of the Grey Wardens assemble. The hidden pearl holds the key to resistance. The griffins will rise again. Continue. Not continue, finish, you mean. Okay, so people are all about the Grey Wardens still, that's nice. It's nice to know. the Nord Noble again. Been in there. I think I've actually covered most of the area. Let's have a look. Yeah. yeah I think I have. Slim Cowdery. Who is Slim Cowdery? Oh, a warehouse. Let's go into the warehouse. An ideal place. Every full moon the man turns into this. 
No, nobody exciting here. Apparently I haven't triggered the quest that sets up whatever happens in here. Don't take the blame for this one. This was bad from the start. No way he was here to deal. What? Oh what, I just <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Thanks. I ain't sticking around to see how this turns out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, he's one of the rogue mission guys. Right, okay, and I'm supposed to be dealing with something or other. Might as well rob the place while we're here. No, a little bit on the side looting. Anything else? Oh, there's something else. And no second floor. Okay, we're good. Good. I feel I have milked this area of all of its goodies and loot. For a capital city, this place seems a little quiet. Not so much hustle, not so much bustle. It's all expensive shops. Mind you, I suppose that's true of most capital cities. You get there and it's just expensive shops. Sergeant Kyler. We're here to report another crime. I swear we should just cordon off the entire district. Oh, uh, can I help you, Warden? Is the market district really that bad? The lower market isn't deemed important by the captain of the guard, even less with Al Howe in charge. So when I finally get the new men I request, I get the delightful surprise of discovering their Lord such and such as illegitimate, untrained, moronic whelps. But Lords keep sending me more of them. It's decent pay, no expectations, a uniform. So I have a legion of bastards to protect the market from pickpockets, stabbings and whatnot. And Al Howe's specially picked men are the worst of the lot. Hmm. The R and I have a rich history. Tell me more about his men. Bastards, I just have to worry about dicing with the odd bit of drool or yelling at them too loudly and hurting their poor feelings and then getting chewed out by their noble fathers. But I swear, the Arl's men are more criminal than the miscreants we occasionally arrest. Some of them are the criminals we have to arrest. So if your lifeblood isn't draining in the gutters as we speak, don't bother reporting it. Wow. Uh... How do you know who I am? Your likeness was passed around to the senior guardsman at the palace. I must say, the sketch didn't do you much justice. But don't worry, even if I believed the official story of what happened at Ostagar, I'm no fool. If I asked my men to apprehend you, they'd all run and cry big sobby tears in their courtesans' bosoms and leave me all alone to be skewered. Don't disturb the peace in the market, and that's well enough for me. Do you want to come with me? You sound like the kind of positive chap who would fit in well with our crew. What? You're serious? I mean, yes, yes, I could use help. I've got a pretty popular uh, establishment that's crawling with mercenaries. If I send my boys in, someone might get, make a forbid, hurt, and I'll have to explain to their noble fathers that being a guard is actually dangerous. What do you need me to do? The name of the whorehouse is the Pearl. Beat down any mercenaries that are out of line and send them a message. I said beat down, not kill. Let me make that really clear, not on fire or exploded or make a nose whatever type of grisly death you can dream up sorry used to giving orders to my boys just leave them breathing and I'll be happy sign Thank me you. up happy hunting I'm gonna go out to find this pearl stand outside and end the stream so when I'm ready to start again I'm straight back into the pearl where are we find it first. Let's take all and have a quick peek at the map. Sara, Slim Chowdhury, Wade's Exporium. Huh. Oh, dump site. Okay, maybe I should do that. I'm actually in the middle of that mission. I appear to have a body in my inventory, although it's not visible. Are the 
There we go. Body in a well. What could possibly go wrong? Poison drinking water? Nah. Nah. So where's this place called the Pearl? That's what I want to know. What do we got here? Nothing. Not even a door. I'm going to save here. Let's press F5 and call it quits for Dragon Age tonight because I don't think I'm going to get much further. I'm losing steam. So, kaplunk, exit, and uh, goodbye to YouTube. Thank you for watching. You're insane, and I may see you again if you're that mental. Bye.